We did it. With the small mess acquired. Yeah, you probably want to go clean that up before your mom freaks. She freaks out, but it be deep. Sprouting microgreens is so easy, a 10 year old could do it. All of my trays are from Bootstrap Farmer. They're a family owned business right here in America. Back east, a couple of brothers have started it. And they do all kinds of stuff, not just microgreen stuff, but they have greenhouse kits on their website. They have, you know, like shade cloth, seed starting. My seed starting stuff up there is from Bootstrap. They do uh, ventilation, uh, grow lights, you name it. Go check out their website. Um, I highly recommend them. So back to what we're doing here. So we have our tray that has some holes in it. Uh, we have a tray here that has no holes in it. Okay, and then we have another tray with no holes in it that we're gonna use in a minute. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our black oil sunflower seeds that I soaked overnight. Um, you probably get away with four or six hours, but I went ahead and soaked them overnight. And frankly, we're just gonna spread these sunflower seeds out on top of this soil here. I've got a little bit of potting soil with some uh, perlite mixed into it that I made. Go ahead, do your thing, just dump them on there. Okay. And then kind of spread them mm -hmm. like this, nice. get them nice and even. There you go. And I used two thirds of a cup of sunflower seeds for a 10 by 10 tray. Where do I get my sprouting seeds from? Well, these right here are seeds from my own sunflowers that I grew and uh, Frankie meticulously took all the seeds out of them, so I use those, but I also buy seeds from Sprout House on Amazon. So I have a lot of, you know, radish, mustard greens, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, that's a good, a good source for your sprouting seeds. Now, we're gonna take this other tray right here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna set it on top of there like this, and then you wanna grab one, the, the small rock. Oh, so that's why you have me That's grab. right, you're gonna put that right in the middle there. We're putting a weight in here so that we keep this compressed on them. We don't want any sunlight getting on the seeds and we want the seeds to have to work a little bit in the beginning when they first germinate. So the roots will go down and, uh, and then we'll take this weight off in a few days. There we go. And we're just gonna take this and set them somewhere out of the way. What are we gonna do this time? This time, I think we're gonna do these. And what are those? These are the spotted snow peas. So we've got a combination of speckled snow peas, that's these guys, and regular green peas. Go ahead, and, and this one I've got a little coconut core in here, right? Um, which uh, I'll probably put a link to that as well, instead of soil. So go ahead and just spread those out on the coconut core. Nice, as, as many as even as you can. See how many of those you can fit in there. Okay, Frank, now that we've got them all kind of evened out here, what do you think we're gonna do next? We're gonna take this, flip it over, and do the exact same thing we just did with that one. Set it on there nice and even. All right, now get your rock. Beautiful. We put it out of the way. We're gonna put it over here. So, now we're gonna come back and check them in a couple of days and see how they're doing. Let's see what the mixed greens look like after about three days. Look at that. I'll give them a little spritz of water. Okay, now you're gonna gently put the top back on, gently and evenly, so that it doesn't break them. And then you're gonna gently put the brick back in. And then you're gonna gently set it back on its shelf. It's really important when you take the top off and put it back on that you're doing everything gently so that you're not breaking them. Which, do you know which one we're about to look at? Is this the peas? The peas, yep. Let's take a look. Pick it up straight. There you go. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at those little pea shoots coming up. So cute. 
too. That's crazy. So tiny. Hey, you want to give them a spritz? Eat one of them. Tell me how it tastes. It's not horrible. It's not it's horrible. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right. Now gently put the top back on. Remember, you want to set it down evenly. So let's come back and look at these again in another couple of days. So it's already been a week. So what we're going to do is since we've already took the weight off and flipped the top over is we're going to check on them. So now we're going to leave the top off and let them get some sunlight so that they can green up. Let's check the peas. So let's see if there's any roots growing out of the bottom. That means it's time to start bottom watering. So we're gonna put a little bit of nutrient in the water so it helps it grow. I want to go clean that up before your mom freaks. She freaks out, but it do. While we're at it, let's check some of our seed starts. Go ahead and grab something and pull it down. What do we got here? Lots of stuff. Speckled snow peas are looking good. Yeah, they are. What's this here? Swiss chard? They're popping up. Yeah, what's this over here? Broccoli. Mm. Broccoli. More Swiss chard. Nice. That's looking pretty good. Yeah. What else we got going on up there? What's this? Bok choy. Ooh, yeah. bok choy is looking good. That basil. Was... There's no basil popping through. Uh, yeah. But what's this? This is oh, kale. Oh, there's a little bit. No, that's, that's kale. kale. The two, the two things of basil. Zero germination so far. That's interesting. This but little bok choy is doing Bok choy is looking good. Thanks for watching the Crowd Ranch. Make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and hit that bell for some notifications. <laughs>